cold, wet November night, and this is at just before two o'clock in the morning. And I got out of that police car, and there's two little flights of steps up into the police station, because it was right on the corner. And as I walked up those two flights of steps, I never realised that was the last steps of freedom I have to take for 16 and a half years. I'd been in trouble with the cops since I was 12, 13 years of age. Anyway, I said to him, listen, there's only one thing in Ireland that's green. That's the grass, not the people. Don't treat me like an idiot. I said, I've been in trouble with the cops. And if you want to know anything about me, pick up the telephone. Switch yourself on to a Swansea computer CRO, the criminal records, <coughs> and you'll have my life story in front of you in three minutes. I'm not wanted by the police. And if I was wanted, I lived next door to a police station in King Standing in Birmingham. I, my house was there and that was the police. We were like that. First of all, I think it's really important to be invited down to Limerick University to meet students who are going to become the future legal brains of the country, hopefully. And misrepresentation and bad representation by lawyers can play a major factor in a miscarriage of justice. And as I was saying to him this morning, I was represented by the biggest law firm in London, Simon Muirhead and & Allen, and they sent me an out-of-work actor called David Walsh. The actor is my solicitor, he was a paralegal, and I've never to this day met anyone from Simon Muirhead & Allen. So it's just trying to reinforce the experiences that we went through, the, the ongoing situation with other miscarriages of justice and people in prison who we're advocating for, you know, to, to, to keep this awareness. And we can, we can accept mistakes, because human beings make mistakes. But when there's a deliberate policy of get someone, get anyone for a specific horrific crime, that's when we should all be frightened, because if they're putting innocent people, such as the Guildford 4, the Birmingham 6, the Maguire's, the Tottenham 3, the Bridgewater 4, the Cardiff 3, in jail for crimes they didn't commit, they're leaving killers on the streets. And that's an insult to the public. And we know the police do a hard job, and it is a difficult job. But they're paid and they're trained and they're given a little bit of, you know, latitude oh, right. in, in their lifestyle. And, and, and we forgo a lot of things when they make mistakes. But putting innocent people in prison can it ever be justified, can never be right. And, and it's a duty to give them the best representation, <coughs> to go in with a fair and open, honest mind, not to be persuaded by politics or by the press and to have an, an assumption before you go to defend someone. You know, and we need lawyers to go in to fight for people, to go in to uphold what the judiciary is supposed to be all about, and that's about truth and justice.